In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called inferring properties of a polynomial function from its graph. We're given the graph of a polynomial here, and we're asked a few questions about the graph, with the first being, over which interval is the function increasing? So if we were to move along the graph from left to right, we would see that the graph is increasing during this first section, and then again increasing here, and also increasing here from left to right. So if we're looking for the x values over which the function is increasing, that would be everything from negative infinity up to this point, which has an x value of negative 6. So from negative infinity to negative 6, it is increasing. And then it's increasing again over this stretch, which starts at the x value of negative 3, and goes to the x value of 2, so the second negative 3 to 2, and then again where x equals a positive 6 until x equals 9, it's increasing. So these are the three intervals where the function is increasing. Next, we're asked to find the x values where the function has a local minimum. So this time we're looking for a local minimum. We can see that that happens Anytime the graph changes from moving down to moving up, we'll have a local minima. So this happens here, where x equals negative 3, and then again here, where x equals 6. So two local minima. For this example, we weren't asked, but there are also three local maxima. And looking at our next question, we're asked for the sign of the function's leading coefficient. And for that, we can look at the end behavior. We can see that this graph is going down to the left, down to the right. So that would have the same leading coefficient and degree as y equals negative x squared. We know that that has this shape. So when the end behavior is down to the left and down to the right, that's an even degree and a negative leading coefficient. So negative leading coefficient. Lastly, we're asked which of the following is a possibility for the degree of the function. And we said based on the end behavior alone, it must be even to have a down to the left and down to the right end behavior. So I'll cross out the ones that are not even. And then we can look at the number of times that our graph changes direction. So it changes direction once here, again going from down to up, from up to down, it changes direction here, down to up here, and then lastly, up to back down again. We saw earlier that for x equals two, there's one change in direction. So this would require at least x equals three to change twice, x equals four, to change three times, x equals five, to change four times, and x equals six, to change direction five times. This would be the minimum degree to change directions this many times. So either would be possible for the degree of this function.